Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceless Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for the sign of Virgo and it is a weekly reading. So the weekly for me goes from Friday the 4th of September and it's going to go all the way to Friday the 11th of September. That being said it does go out at midnight every Friday night. Now this reading although it is for the sign of Virgo is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever resonates resonates with you, whatever feels comfortable with you, and just leave the rest of it aside. If it doesn't make sense with you, if you're not comfortable with it, then most likely it is not meant for you. That being said, um, if you would like to have a personal reading, you're in search of guidance, you're in search of some questions, some clarity, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it'll be my great pleasure to uh, send you the uh, information on the different types of readings that I can offer you. Also, if you look into the YouTube drop box, you will find all the information of um, where to contact me and how to contact me. On a, another note, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. So, with no further ado, let's begin this reading, and um, I'm using here a fortune telling card this week. Sometimes I switch it up and I use oracles and I use tarot. This week, it's fortune telling. So, this is all about the Madame Andorra. So, let's see what is going on for you this week. So, I have the wolf card, followed by the wavern. I have winds of change. I have the oracle the moon upside down in reverse, and I have the air. Okay, so let's begin. We're gonna begin with the wolf because we all know about the big bad wolf, don't we? There you go, there's a big bad wolf in your life. May it be a man or may it be a, a, a woman, there is a big bad wolf, okay? So this being said, the big bad wolf here is all about being aware of a wolf in sheep's clothing. We've all heard about that before, right? There you go. You must be careful who you trust. This week is very, very important. Be careful who you trust. Now, the wolf here is very selective and, you know, they are planning their deception. It's someone who likes to take advantage of you. So who would be taking advantage of you? It could only be your partner. And there you go. Your partner is the wolf in your story. Now, if we're going to continue into the same vein here, okay, we have the, the partner here who is, you know, doing some deception, who's hiding behind different masks, sheeps in different clothing. And I have over here the wyvern. And this card here is all about, um, it's really about the keeper of the secrets. So I feel as though somebody knows the secrets of your partner and you need to find out who this person is because they're the ones who are going to be able to give you all of the juicy information on what is going on. So if you really want to know what's going on into your relationship, you truly do, you need to find this person. Um, this person really does have all the knowledge possible and they are not supposed to say anything, but maybe if you do see them and you do find them, maybe they will. That being said, I do also have another message with this, but this is really about um, a conflict. I do feel like there's a lot of conflicts into this relationship, and I feel like there are feelings of guilt, okay? And I need you to stop feeling guilty. This is not your fault. This has nothing to do with you. There are people who are like that, people who just, you know, are um, not able to be in long-term relationships, and this happens to be one, sadly for you. So this is really about... Um, this is really about you and it's really about, um, well, actually it's two things. It's the secrets. You need to find the person who's holding all the secrets, who has, who knows all the secrets of your partner. And this is really about you who has a lot of guilt, okay, facing the conflicts that you have, facing the situation that you have. 
Now, I do feel like there is going to be a wind of change. Now, when I mean a wind of change, I mean something's going to be changing. There's going to be a crossroads, okay? You're going to have to make a decision. This is a little bit like the lover's card in tarot, where you must make a decision into this relationship. So, things have been going wrong for quite some time, I feel. Um, a change is coming, and you know what? The change could be good, and it could be bad, okay? I'm saying there's a change to be made, because I know what's coming up down here, okay? But that being said, said um, something needs to be done there's a crossroad uh, your destiny the circumstances everything has been altered into this relationship and you must decide whether you're going to change your direction or if you're going to stay on course this is going to be completely up to you to decide so you must be prepared though to adapt yourself in consequence so you must be prepared to take a decision you must be prepared to adapt and you must be prepared to you know really you know where are you going are you going to the left or are you going to the right so this is really about you feeling stuck you're feeling kind of hopeless hopeless there's a lot of obstacles in front of you and you're just feeling like you're down on your luck now I have the Oracle what do oracles do oracles give us all different kind of wisdom doesn't it so this is about seeking wisdom and guidance from other people so if you could go see and when I talk about other people I mean elder people could you go see maybe your parents or your grandparents Somebody who's older than you it could be your brother or your sister who's older than you go see somebody else who's a little bit older and try and get some knowledge try and get some uh, useful um, information some tips that you can use into your relationship here to find out um, you know what is going on and what you should do it really represents that also that you have done quite a sacrifice uh, into this relationship you've done you've given a lot into the relationship and you're just not getting what you deserve out of the relationship but you've given so much in and you keep on giving and you keep on trying but it's so difficult because you know you end up with this type of information um we have the moon the moon i'm going to keep it in reverse because the moon was in reverse this is about hidden things it's deception it's not seeing this is what you're not seeing somebody once again knows all of the information they can make you see because your partner is not going to make you see they are not the ones who are going to be telling you so this is really about not seeing it's about taking a second look you need to take a second look again and again a very important you need to find out what is going on and we finish it off with um, the air card and the air card is really about seeking guidance I find as though um, you're going to uh, retreat yourself a little bit maybe and you're going to try and find yourself a little bit of guidance if it's not from you know people that are around you from el from people who are a little bit older than you if it's not from your parents or your grandparents you're gonna go and seek it yourself and you're gonna go and listen to your intuition I think it's the very best thing to do listen to your intuition and um, try and hear what it is that it is telling you make sure it's not mingling with the heart the heart and you know the the intuition the heart and the mind they just don't go well together they do not go well together the messages become mixed they are not there it's not right so please do search for some guidance may it be searching with guidance with family as I said with uh, friends maybe with um, a tarot readers search your guidance as best as you can as you're going to feel comfortable with it so if we're gonna go over this um, this reading here there's not that much going on but what is going on is important so partner deceitful okay they're just they're hiding there it's a wolf in sheep's clothing is what is going on and um, it comes back again that you know the secrets somebody knows your uh, partner's secrets you need to try and find out who that is so you can find out what's going on because right now you're getting the cold shoulder you're not getting the story they're not going to give you the story you need to make a decision into this relationship you need to go at a crossroads and you need to find out what is going on also I do feel as though with the moon card over here there is a um there's uh how can i say this uh there's hidden things there's deception okay there's something you're not seeing so you need to take a deeper look what you're not seeing is what is over here so you need to find this person please and um this is really about seeking some guidance you need to seek some guidance and you need to heal yourself you need to find your solutions you need to heal yourself so you can trust again may it be trusting your partner right now or may it be trusting your you know a different partner you need to heal from this you need to find your solutions 
you need to communicate with your partner. So try communicating first with somebody else, getting some advice. Make sure it's good advice so you don't receive bad advice and apply it. Make sure that it's good for you. Then try and discuss with your partner to see if you can do anything with this relationship or not. So that being said, this does conclude your weekly reading. Um, if you do have any questions or you would like a reading, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Um, please don't forget that this is a general, so it might not resonate with you. Um, I do thank you so very much for being there. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the following readings that are coming up at the same time as this one. And I do wish you all of the best. Much courage to figure this out. Thank you for being there, and I'll see you soon.